हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट वेस्टिंग दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर जावा स्क्रिप्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स जम्प इन टू दॉन्सेप्ट नाउ होस्टिंग मीन्स लिफ्टिंग समथिंग अप यू माइट बी वॉन्ड्रिंग हाउ जावा स्क्रिप्ट इज रिलेटेड टू होस्टिंग योर आंसर इज जावा स्क्रिप्ट एग्जीक्यूशन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एग्जीक्यूट्स आर प्रोग्राम इन टू फेजेज फेज वन इज parsing where hoisting comes in and phase 2 is interpretation where javascript engine executes the parse program line by line i will explain this with the help of few examples so this is our example number 1 where i will tell you about variable hoisting here you can see that we have a console statement that is trying to print the value of variable myware and this variable is not yet defined what do you think will be the output here so the output is reference error that's pretty obvious that this variable is not yet defined and we are trying to access it now if i will uncomment this variable initialization and try to execute this what do you think will be the output here so it is printing the value of the variable that's quite obvious now if i will move this initialization statement after the console statement what do you think will be the output now so it is giving me the value undefined why the variable is defined with the value why it is giving me undefined so here hoisting comes in as discussed earlier in the javascript execution process in the phase when all the initialization statements are divided into two parts one is variable declaration and second is initialization and all the variable declarations are hoisted towards the top of its execution scope so in the phase 2 when javascript engine executes this program line by line so it will create a variable with the value undefined and in this console statement it will print undefined that's all about example number 1 let's jump to example number 2 now in this example we will talk about variable hoisting inside a function here you can see that we have a default size initialized with medium value size initialized with large value then we have a get size function that will assign default size to size if the size is not defined and finally return the size finally we have two console statement one for printing the output of get size and one is for printing the value of size what do you think will be the output here so it is printing the value of get size to be medium and size to be large why we have defined size to be large and it is printing the value medium so here also hoisting comes in in the phase 1 of the javascript execution all the variable initialization are divided into two parts first part is only declaration and second part is initialization all the variable declarations are hoisted to the top of its execution scope here its execution scope is this function so when the javascript engine executes this program it will get the program to be like this when this get size function is called it will create a variable with the name size whose value is undefined now the size is not defined so it will assign default size that is medium to size and finally return medium from here that's about example number 2 let's jump to example number 3 In this example we will talk about hoisting with let or const keywords. Now you can see that we have a console statement that is trying to print value of variable myware and this variable is declared after the console statement using let keyword. What do you think will be the output here? So it is giving me the reference error because the variable created with let or const keyword does not hoist. there is also the concept that is known as temporal dead zone in which if a variable is declared with the let or const keyword all the area above that variable in the current execution scope will be called as temporal dead zone for the variable now let's jump to example number 4 in this example we will talk about function hoisting here you can see that we have a function by name my function that is called first 
and declared after that. What do you think will be the output here? So it is running fine. Why? Because in the phase one, the function declaration will be hoisted towards the top of the execution context. And when in the phase two, the JavaScript engine executes this, this, this will get the definition. So it will be called fine. Now let's jump to example five. So before going into the example five, I'll first try to explain the difference between function declaration and function expression. So if you will declare a function with the function keyword like this, it is known as function declaration. And if you will assign the function declaration explicitly to some variable, it is known as function expression. In this example, we will talk about hoisting in function expression. So what do you think will be the output in this case? So the output is type error. Why? Because of hoisting. Similar to variable declaration, function expression is divided into two parts. One is declaration of variable and second is assignment. All the variables are hoisted towards the top of its execution scope. So in the phase two, when JavaScript engine executes this program, it will get the parse program to be like this. It will first create a variable whose value is undefined. Then we are trying to call undefined. So it is giving us a type error. Now jump on to the last example. Here we will talk about precedence of hoisting in JavaScript. Here you can see that we have a console statement that is trying to print the type of a square. Then after that, we have defined the square with the value string and then the square is defined as a function and finally we are again printing the type of square what do you think will be the output in this scenario so here it is printing function for the first console and string for the second console why it's again because of hoisting so all the variable initialization will be divided into two parts one is variable declaration and second is assignment and then all the declaration will be hoist to the top of the current execution scope after the variable hoisting all the functions also get hoisted to the top of its execution scope so in the phase two when javascript engine executes this program line by line it will first create a square variable with the value undefined then the function with the same name then if we will console the type of square it will be function here then we have assigned a string value square to our variable and after that we are checking the type of square so it will be string here that's all about hoisting in this video i hope the concept of hoisting is clear to you now if you still have any queries or suggestions please comment below or you can connect with me over linkedin the link to the code snippets used in this video is attached in the description section if you like the video please hit like button if you want to watch more videos like this please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching keep coding